everybody, it's Laura. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the progress I have made on the Zach box. There are 12 quilt blocks total and I have completed four. So let's get into it and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so here is block number one of the Zach Shabby Chic box. Um, I did not film the process and the reason why is because Zach is doing bi-weekly tutorials on this and I didn't want to step on toes because he is doing these, these tutorials only for the folks who actually bought the box. So as not to encroach on that, I am just going to show you the finished product of every single block. And um, yeah, that that is reserved for the folks who actually bought the box. So I'm gonna show you each box as or each block, sorry, as it is constructed. And then I will show you the next step when I put all the blocks together. All right, this is block one of 12. All right, on to block number two, the rail fence. I did this block ahead of the video, so I'm hoping the colors are in the right places. If not, you know what? There they are. <laughs> so, we will see um, when Zach brings out his next tutorial on this specific block. I did it what I thought looked good and uh, we will move on now to block number three. Okay, on to block number three. This is the churn dash quilt block. And I am the first to admit that I kind of suck with half square triangles. Um, Three out of the four ain't bad. Uh, the one in the northwest corner, this one's a little, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Once it all goes together, it'll be fine. It's just almost kind of funny that, I mean, you know, 75%, three out of four ain't bad, but um, there you go. There is the churn dash quilt block. Okay, so I have now completed block number six. I skipped ahead over block four and five just because after the last quilt block number three and I kind of failed a little bit at the half square triangles, I thought, you know what, let's just skip ahead to nothing but half square triangles and see if I can improve my technique a little bit. And I'm not completely dissatisfied. I mean, most of my points are pretty close. And if you look at like there, it's on point, there it's on point. There, yeah, I kind of fudged that a little bit, but here it's like where these eight points come together is still bulky. <sighs> Not sure how to fix that unless I just ironed the heck out of it. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's not horrible and I am pleased with it. And that's the great thing too about doing a sampler block quilt is you use different patterns, different techniques, different cuts so you learn to perfect on the things that you might need improvement. So I'm going to close out this video with these four blocks. I'm gonna do the next four and then the next four and then the final video will be the whole thing put together. Stay tuned, thanks.